All right, guys, very serious video today. Is DTF safe? Let's get into it. T-shirt help desk. All right, guys, Gary, T-shirt help desk, and you know, kind of down. Uh, this is something that many of us in the industry have been um, uh, talking about lately. And as a person who has um, uh, done videos and pushed videos, I mean, I have a video on DTF that literally has 1.5 million views. Uh, I feel like it is my duty to address this. OK, so um, there was a gentleman by the name of Brother Ernest. Right. He's really a pioneer in you know, bringing this whole uh, DTF uh, technology, you know, to the masses. Right. And um, he recently came out and says that he has been diagnosed with a thyroid cancer. I believe it's called anaplasty. If, 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 I, if I said that wrong, please forgive me. Um, and guys, this is no joke because he's saying that uh, he's alleging that it comes from DTF. Uh, the DTF powder specifically. OK. And I want to talk about this. I want to address this right now, guys. Um, disclaimer, I am not a doctor. I am not a hazardous material, uh, hazardous materials expert by any means. I'm a guy who makes T-shirts just like uh, you guys. Right. And I want to live a long life just like hopefully you do. So I'm just concerned about this. Uh, so. The information that I have is that it is not the DT, it's not the printer itself. It is the powder when heated. From what I understand, the powder in of itself has, you know, has non-toxic properties, but when heated, it can be toxic. Uh, and potentially cancer causing. And if you notice in my video, uh, in the first video, I showed you an air filter that you put on top. And in the second video, I show it has a built-in air filter in the oven, okay? Now, according to Brother Ernest, he is alleging that the powder just going airborne uh, can be Toxic. Now, mind you, once again, guys, I am not a scientist. I only can tell you, I'm just telling you what he has stated. I don't know if that's been confirmed with any type of, um, you know, scientific research. What I am going to tell you is that all of these products, right, have been tested to be safe in certain environments and if you put it in another environment which is the heat you need to have protective gear on and protect yourself so l let me show you okay you want to get you like a filter mask or a respirator mask something that can catch any of those particles right and if you're doing it like this you see what i'm doing right here when i take the powder and put it on top and you know how we, you know, move it from side to side. No, 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 no. Not with your bare hands, baby. Let me show you. All right. You see that? That is some gloves. You want to take them just like when you go to the doctor. Put those bad boys on, right? And then you do all of that and wash your hands after. Now, if you have the powder shaker, make sure that you're in a well ventilated area and wear your mask and gloves. You wanna take your mask, right? Kind of like this, put it over your mouth and you could put it right over your head so you don't be breathing in all that craziness with your gloves. Some people wanna cover their eyes and some people even put stuff in their ears and have on long sleeves. Now, I've showed you guys before how after you have the powder on it, you take it and, you know, you could do it out. Even with gloves, I'm going to say don't do it with the heat press. Get yourself an oven, right, and make sure whatever oven that you have, it has an air filter, right? This is where you take your art. 
You can put it right on there, Ryan. I'm going to put about three pieces of art here. Slam that bad boy down and turn on your air filter. Okay, even with this one, when you have this one, <laughs> wear a mask and be in a well-ventilated area. Safety first, guys. So guys, you see in the videos I'm, sh I'm showing you how you can, um, you can do it with just the heat press. I'm going to flat out say, no, don't do that. And I'm going to have to go in my videos and put a, a, a some type of retraction or some type of, of warning on the video to not do that and to have some form of air filter or get that oven. Don't just have um, this um, stuff, the, um, the film with the adhesive just out, even in a well ventilated room. I'm going to go so far as to say that Personally, me, I'm not a scientist, I would advise against that, okay? I'm going to say either use something with an air filter and have it in a, a well-ventilated area. And if, you can, and if you can, leave the damn room, right? Now, some of you may be saying, well, damn, bro, if I'm got to do all that, I don't even want to use it. But guess what, guys? To be honest with you, that's an option, too. I am not telling you that you have to use DTF and that, you know, you, you need to do this. If you feel like it is unsafe and, you know, it is hazardous to your health, I'm, don't do it. Straight up and down. Don't do it or wean yourself off of it or find an alternative. For right now, I'm going to continue to do it, but I am going to, and I have to say, I was guilty of not using uh, um, protective gear and all the stuff that I'm showing you now, I was guilty of it. But guess what? Not no damn no. You feel me? If you're going to do DTF, you must protect yourself. From what I understand, this gentleman said that he didn't use anything. That's a mistake. Guys, at the, at, at the end of the day, there are people who work in and around hazardous materials. There are people who work in warehouses. There are people who work in places that make hazardous materials, okay? There are people who work in paint shops. There are people who work all type of places. And when you see them, they have on their protective gear, right? They have on their uh, mask with some form of um, respirator or some type of um, um, filter. They're doing all of these things to protect themselves. And so, so should you, okay? Let's protect ourselves if we're gonna even do it at all. OK, because cancer is no joke. I want you guys to be safe. But most importantly, I hope this is not going to sound selfish. I want to be safe. You feel me? Shout it. So um, that's it. Um, I hope that Brother Ernest makes a full recovery, you know, um, be with him and his, and his family. Uh, to, to all you guys out here, if you're doing DTF. Please, please, please go to Amazon. I'm going to have links for all that stuff. Go to Amazon and get you some protective stuff today. Do not print another damn thing until you get you some, I think it's called PPE, some protective stuff. De definitely a, 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 a respirator, some, something to cover your mouth, not just one of those COVID-19 masks or something like I showed you. And uh, definitely... Get yourself some gloves. And in the video, I don't think I had anything on. Make sure your, your sleeves and your arms and everything are covered. And make sure after, when you finish, wash your hands and wash your hands. Um, and, and that's it. And I'm going to leave you guys with a quote from one of my favorite rappers in this, up here on his wall, Karis Warren. And um, I'm going to let him tell you. I will tell you like this, because I know for a fact I will live a long life and I don't smoke crack. Now, guys. I say that mantra damn near every night. I am not BSing. That, that song came out in 1986. I say that mantra since then almost every day. I'm going to tell you like this because I know for a fact I'm going to live a long life and I don't smoke crack. I live by that. You know, I'm planning on and I am living a long, beautiful, uh, fantastic life. Live long and prosper. Live long and prosper. And I want you guys to do the same. You feel me? So um, that's it, guys. Take care of yourselves. Be careful. 
And um, this is just a public service announcement from T-Shirt Help Desk. God bless. May the universe bless. And I will see you on the other side. Peace. T-Shirt Help Desk.